Hi, I'm Cameron Reynolds, and today we're going to talk about plastic foundation really quick. Let me grab a frame. All right, so this is one of the beauties of plastic foundation. You get the appropriate frame, you drop it in the bottom groove, and you pop it right in. It's that simple. That is so nice. You don't have to wire it in like you did with the wax foundation. And so, real quick, we're going to talk about the pros and cons about plastic foundation. Now, one of the biggest cons that we hear is it's, it's plastic. It's in the beehive. Why are we putting plastic in the beehives? That's not natural. Well, we have thousands of them, and they're used very commonly throughout the United States, and they work fantastic. They're not damaging to the bees at all. And with a wax coat, a good wax coat, the bees aren't even going to touch the plastic. One of the advantages that I also like about plastic compared to the regular wax foundation, which many would consider to be more natural, is that that old wax has chemicals from either commercial beekeepers that have been into you know, orchards you know, doing their job. I mean, they, they don't want that stuff in their hives either, but their bees have to pollinate these orchards so we can have food. So it's going to have chemical contamination from maybe uh, herbicides, fungicides, maybe even a little pesticide residue. And then back in the day when Ferrara was new, we had more chemicals to deal with the mites that left residues in the combs. So when you get plastic foundation, you can actually, if you have your own beeswax, or if you have a good source for beeswax, you can just get a foam roller. We've got a video that shows you how to do that. And you can just roll your own natural beeswax onto the plastic. So that is a big benefit. You saw how fast it was. Now the three major things for making sure that plastic foundation gets drawn is having a hive with plenty of bees that are ready to draw, a good flow, which probably is the most important, and three, a decent wax coat. But you can have a single layer wax coat on a, a foundation frame. As long as the colony is strong and there's a good flow, they draw it well. If you have a little colony, they especially benefit from an extra coat of wax on there because they're going to take their time drawing it because they're not as powerful. The bees, if you put it in there too early, or if there's a dearth period and there's no way for them to draw comb, they're just going to sit there and pick at it. And whether it's wax foundation or plastic, they are going to damage that wax layer. With the wax foundation, they'll eat a hole through it if you put it on and they don't need it. And they're just sitting there for weeks just picking away at it. With plastic foundation, they'll just take the wax right off of it and you're down to plastic and they're not going to draw it like that. So. You need to have a good coat with bees that are ready to draw and you need to either be feeding them or there needs to be a good honey flow coming in. So that's pretty much all there is to using foundation. If you use it correctly, plastic foundation will save you a lot of time. It'll make strong, straight combs that are safe for your bees as you pull them up, safe for your queen. They'll last long in the extractor and they're not going to blow out on you like some of the other th things will. They're just a really good thing for beekeepers. So don't worry about all the, what the naysayers say about them. Use them. They are awesome. Thanks for watching the video.